Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to enable a grouping bar in React Pivot Table of Sync Fusion. I will show you how to drag and drop fields between column, row, value, and filter axes. I will also explain how to show or hide sort, filter and remove icons, value type dropdown, and value buttons in the grouping bar. Let me open my existing example, where I've installed the Sync Fusion React Pivot View package. I have also bound JSON data using the data source property. Let's take a look at the data bound to the data source. It contains fields like sold, amount, country, products, etc., are mapped to the row, column, and value axes. You can refer to my getting started video, shared in the card above or in the description below, to learn more about data binding. I'll run this example. See, the pivot table rendered based on a JSON object. To enable the grouping bar, import the module, grouping bar, from the SyncFusion EJ2 React Pivot View package and inject it into the pivot services. Then include the show grouping bar property in the pivot table and set its value to true. Check the pivot table, the grouping bar is enabled. I can rearrange the fields by drag and drop operation between row, column, value, and filter axes. I can also remove fields from the existing report. Filter members of a specific field using filter icon. And finally sort the fields using the sort icon. In the value axis, you can see the fields with drop-down icon. Click that to choose the aggregation type. By default, type is set to sum and I change it to max. See, the maximum number of units sold is displayed in the grand total. You can also show the unused field list in the fields panel. To do that, add grouping bar settings and enable the show fields panel property. Check now, the pivot table has a field panel with unmapped fields. Using this filter icon, you can check or uncheck the field members. I can hide the filter icon for specific field, say for example products. Just include this show filter icon property in that corresponding field and set its value to false. Look, the products fields filter icon is not visible. If you want to hide filter icons of all the fields in the grouping bar, include the show filter icon property in grouping bar settings and set its value to false. Now, the filter icon in each field is hidden. Using this option, I can sort the field items in ascending or descending order. I can hide the sort icon for a specific field, say for example, country. Just include the show sort icon property in that field and set its value to false. Look, the country field sort icon is not visible. To hide the sort icon for all the fields in a grouping bar, include the show sort icon property in the grouping bar settings and set its value to false. Check now, sort icons are hidden for all the fields in grouping bar. To hide the remove icon for a specific field, say for example, year in columns collection, include the show remove icon property and set its value to false. See here, the remove icon is hidden in that particular field. To hide remove icon in all the fields, include the show remove icon property in grouping bar settings and set its value to false. Check now, remove icons are hidden for all the fields in grouping bar. To prevent dragging a specific field, include the allow drag and drop property in the corresponding field and set its value to false. Now, I'm unable to drag the country field. If you disable the allow drag and drop property in grouping bar settings, you cannot drag any field in the grouping bar. I can prevent a specific field from being displayed in the grouping bar. To do that I will include the exclude fields property in data source settings and specify the fields to be excluded like products and quarter fields. Now, you will see products and quarter fields excluded. To hide the aggregation drop-down icon for a specific field in the value axis, 
set show value type icon to false in the corresponding field. Look, the value type icon is hidden in the amount field. When I disable the show value type icon in the group bar settings, drop down icon will be hidden for all the fields in the value axis. I can also change the plotting of data by columns or rows. In pivot table, I include the show values button property and set its value to true. In the grouping bar, the value button is shown in the column axis because data is plotted based on the column axis. Here I will enable the allow drag and drop property. When I drag the values button and drop it on the row axis, then values are plotted based on the rows. In this video, you learned how to enable the grouping bar in a Sync Fusion React pivot table. I showed you how to drag fields between different axes and how to show or hide the sort, filter, and remove icons, value type dropdown, and value buttons in the grouping bar. You can download a working example from the GitHub link in the description for this video below. I've also included a link where you can see if you're eligible for our community license, which will provide you with a free license key to use all our products. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel.